so uh this past week there was an interesting um story came up um in one of my favorite game series actually uh the cooking mama series um so cooking mama is a series of games that started on the nintendo ds there's uh versions on the wii i think maybe the wii u and basically they're simple to get into cooking games where uh you basically a character named mama tells you step by step how to mama. make certain things you pick a food you do a bunch of little mini games that are the steps you put the food together and then you get rated on the overall completion of the food it's like your own blue apron but digital <laughs> to a degree it sort of is yeah um it's it, it's like putting hope, together blue hope it's a lot sooner than the blue apron instructions it's, it's like playing a blue apron kit um <laughs> the game so this was supposed to come out i believe in 2019 cooking mama cook star uh and I, I think it had a different title than it was uh cooking mama i believe coming home to mama and um, it was delayed, and then it was announced that it was about a month ago. I remember seeing that it was going to be released at the end of um, March or beginning of April. So it was released, and then uh, it was briefly released on the eShop, and then promptly taken down about four hours later. Um, so there was an old. Um, there was an old, uh, like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? PR, um, press release that said that there was going to be some sort of like blockchain enabled DRM in the game. Okay. Um, you know, people were trying to figure out what that meant. What it would it would it be like being able to you know resell your used games or something like that if it was like a digital version, etc. Uh, but uh, people immediately took to the internet and said that uh, Cooking Mama was released pulled off and that it was mining bitcoin using your system and it was causing systems to overheat overheat your system overheat your system and so there was a huge like panic online and lots of people spreading that without really taking the time to look into it uh i hate to say it i mean but it does sound pretty dubious i mean just someone tells you that you're probably going to want to look into that a little bit deeper than than uh you know as deep as possible sure i i, I would i would hope that nintendo would, would not get past them you know, uh, when they're looking at new games, like, oh, is this using your right. system for nefarious means? Yeah. You know, we'll so, pass their Q QA. But the fact that it was pulled so quickly made, you know, people, you know, coupled with what people are saying, it made people wonder if something crazy was going on. So uh, this is from a Screen Rant article. Recently, Screen Rant was contacted by a member of the Cooking Mama Cookstar development team who wanted to speak. Um, they dismissed rumors of cryptocurrency mining. The statement about cryptocurrency was all buzzwords. The head of Planet Entertainment, that's the um, publisher, I believe, um, knows very little about the, these things. He just put some fancy language to get potential investors who like this stuff. It's for crashes and overheating. That would be because the game is made in Unity uh, by many people working on their first game. Um, it's not the best product, but it it made it through several vigorous reviews by Nintendo and Sony. There's no way crypto mining stuff could get through those tests. I doubt anyone at 1P would even be able to make such a thing, 1P being the developer. So basically what they're saying is Unity is a development platform. Um, and if you're, you know, basically what they're saying is... Uh, some of the first people making their first games are working on it. The code's not optimized, so it's running the system hot is really okay. all it is. It's probably something that could have been patched or, or something like well, that, but it's certainly not uh, cryptocurrency mining. That's ridiculous. Well, according to this came out a couple of days ago, Direct Feed Games on Twitter said, Cooking Mama Cookstar is a big topic table. We need to look at all angles. Via reverse engineering, it, is a found, it has been found that there is no crypto mining yeah. code in the game. However, battery does drain fast due to shoddy removal of the said code get the full story before reacting yeah so basically bad code is what's making the battery drain and making the system run heat run run hot um jesus oh, so like cooking game it's all well, you're heating up food you're heating up your hands so uh office create is i believe the ip holder um and uh basically i guess they came to oversee the development an argument started, and the clients were told to go home if they weren't being constructed once they found out the Planet Entertainment. So basically, Planet Entertainment's the publisher. Office Create is the um, the IP holder. Okay. They didn't like what they saw, and it looks like um, it looks like Planet Entertainment released the game anyway. Ooh, and the IP holder had the rights to say And no. Office Create contacted Nintendo and was like, pull the game down. Good on them. So that's what looks like happened. 
Wow, so this is going to be stuck for a, for a while then yep. until they iron this out. That's embarrassing. So 1P, which I guess is the developer, the current developer, overall everyone at 1P loves the Cooking Mama franchise and did their best to make the best product considering the interference from the higher ups. I think the game is far from perfect but would have done fine without the publishers stumbling so constantly. So yeah, it just sounds like a sour business decision. It sounds like basically, uh, you know, they tried to find a, you know, a, a developer to handle their IP. Um, they got a like you know a first time developer or a young set of developers. They made a game. They weren't happy with it. They told them not to release it. They released it anyways, and then it got pulled. Um, there are definitely pictures of cartridge like complete copies of this game going around. I don't know if this is going to become a rarity. It exists. I mean, so there was a di- have- there was a digital version. There are physical versions out there. But as of right now, it's been halted. The production has so been halted. Developer doesn't know what's happening with the publisher the, I, the IP holder doesn't know what's happening with the developer and the publisher and there's just a, right. it's a mishmash of things going on and, uh, Screen, Screen Rant got the exclusive on this it looked like originally uh, when asked about whether the game was released without letting the team know ahead of time the developer replied it's hard to say we were told that the game was coming out in March that's all anyone knew the boss at IP Toby keeps that kind of thing to herself mostly staying she doesn't want to stress us with the details that that's a detail you, you would need to know if you're a developer. Yeah. Advertising was blocked by Office Create 2. There were YouTube ads, websites, even TikTok ads that never came out. The future of Cooking Mama Cookstore remains uncertain as the developer ended by saying, in quotes, as I understand, Planet Entertainment, which is the IP holder you said, right? No, Planet Entertainment's the publisher. Oh. The Office publisher Create is pl- the IP holder. Planet Entertainment, the, the, the publisher, is suing Office Create, the IP holder, having it removed for money lost. It's hard to say if it will ever be released properly. Oof. Jesus. This is going to be a mess. All over a cute little cooking game. And I, I like I said, uh, I, I was looking forward to this when it was announced oof. like a month ago, and now it just seems like a nightmare. Oh, God. This is a nasty development of this. Yeah. How so, do you, God, how do you even get this cryptocurrency even mining, like rumors and then i got to see about that person that said that there was code that was removed on twitter it, it, was that well i don't uh, know that there was actually any code removed my understanding is that it was never in there and that there was cryptocurrency and blockchain stuff thrown into the marketing public like stuff because it sounds good you don't need that for your cooking game no like, you don't but everyone uh, gets crazy when they hear the word blockchain i mean that was the I don't joke even, a while back was i don't that, even you know, you totally just, understand just how that can add blockchain to something and suddenly people are going to want yeah. to invest in it my guess is that there was nothing cryptocurrency related ever in this game sloppy code is what was making it fall apart or run poorly and that's <sighs> it okay well, then take that tweet from direct uh for your games with a grain of salt then but uh, I would definitely play this if I had the chance. <laughs> well, you had a chance to buy, I guess, for like a th- for like whatever three seconds before it was pulled digitally. Yeah, I guess now people can preserve it in case it never comes out. They can they can hopefully dump it <laughs> and have it preserved or it never comes out. It, it'll come out. They'll they'll. There's too much money put into this stuff. They're gonna have to release this. You know. Um. Oh, there's a physical copy someone has. Yeah, like I said, you can find it. So that it has been released physically somewhere. Okay. Uh, well, th- yes, they basically. I think it was like pre-orders or something like that. Oh, that'll be that'll be the the, the if, That's if, what I'm saying. I think big, it'll end up being Swiss one. Thing. It'll end up being uh, something that's collectible. Uh, well, unless they make more, it'll be like the not Wii U game that was a piece of shit they they pumped out more of. What was uh, that one? Devil's, Devil's Third or something. Yeah. yeah. So don't don't listen to Ian. Don't don't spend 125 bucks on a game that they'll just pump out more. It'll be 50 bucks. <laughs> you know you can wait. But people are on eBay already trying to get 80 bucks for it. 85, 80, which I guess is reasonable if it's a 60 dollar game. What are these? Are these 60 bucks for these? Probably. Probably would have been a 40 or 60 dollar. Uh, there's a lot on eBay. So it looks like there's 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 a lot out there. Yeah. On eBay, there's at least there's at least 150 of these. It looks like. Uh, something like that that you can buy. But if Ian's right, it'll be like if you want to complete your Switch collection, it'll be like the stadium events of, of the Switch. We'll see. 